YouTube is your boy Chris the Truckle. Uh, top of the morning to y'all, man. Early in the morning, man. Uh, sitting there trying to drop my load off, man. Uh, today, I'm gonna talk a little bit about bagging, the struggles of bagging. Uh, for me, it's a struggle, and I'm pretty sure I'm not by myself with that. Uh, I know it's probably a, a lot of uh, uh, rookies uh, that starting off, uh, she probably people that maybe them been in about a year or two still struggle with bagging. But man, it just seemed like I struggle with bagging. Man, I, I struggle my, I struggle real bad with bagging, especially in like little tight spaces. Uh, as you can see for the video, uh, that I that I kind of shot. I know it was kind of dark, but I I just wanted to kind of give you more audio than visual of. How I act, you know, when I when I bag up and I'm struggling, you know, I, I I was really struggling in the spot. The spot ain't really just tight, tight, but it was tight enough that I just had enough room just to get it in there. But it was like a curve. It's a curve in the middle of this thing that was just just fucking me up bad. It was just like every time I got ready to swing, I was gonna come up on the curve, and I did not want to come up on the curve. Man, it, it took me, man, y'all don't laugh though, but it, it took me, it took me almost 30 minutes to bag into this, into this spot, man. I had two spots to choose from, and each spot is like so many parking spaces on one side, then a curve, look curve, then you got another little space in the curve, like the two spots that I could pick from, each of them had a curve on there that was fucking me up, so I was just like picking between one and the other. So I called myself picking the one with the most space because I had kind of a little extra space on my left side. So if I did have to kind of tilt it just a little bit to, to try to turn and straighten it up, I could, but I could never get around the curve to even tilt it a little bit. And I mean, I, I got the concept down and it was just like I was doing, I was trying to do the concept like, you know, when you pull in and you too far on your left hand side, you, you know what I'm saying? You got more space on your right, supposed to do your little snake maneuver. It just seemed like I can kick that that way, kick it back. Once I kick it back this way, I ain't got enough room to come all the way back to straighten my trailer. I just have to wiggle it in, so I'm playing with it, bagging up, man. Uh, it's a truck right beside me. I don't know if the man was looking at me. Now he probably looking at me talking about what the hell. Why did man take it so long to bag in? Ain't no telling, man. I don't know, man. I be kind of feeling embarrassed sometimes when I be coming to these docks and going to them truck stops. 
and trying to bag in, man, sometime, and I be struggling. I just feel like all I be on me, man. I, I might just be tripping. It just might be me, but I just be feeling like all eyes on me, man, when I uh when I be struggling in the back. But uh, yeah, man, I I I got the concept down. I really don't know too much about. You know what I'm saying about the, the tight space and how to just wiggle. I guess you just got wiggling in there. If it take you a minute, just take you a minute. It, it took me a minute. And, you know, as you can hear on the audio, because it's more audio than uh, video, I I got kind of, I get frustrated with it, man. When, I, when I'm trying to do it and I, I know I'm doing the correct steps and it just seemed like the shit ain't going. You know, I don't know if I just got the feel of the trailer all the way yet or, or what, man, but... I know it take practice. It really does take practice. Anybody that coming out here, man, from school, and I don't. It just depend on what school you go to. I mean, if you go to a, a CDS school like mine, like we had day cabs, you know what I'm saying? The day cabs and these uh sleeper cabs, they they turn the trailer turn a little bit slower than these sleeper cabs. To me, like the day cab, it seems like the trailer will go real quick. Like I guess because the day cab is smaller. You know, and you and you got less less uh turn, less swing you gotta do. But it seems like the day cabs are, is a whole lot easier to kind of bag into the hole, you know what I'm saying, than these sleepers at times. And, and I mean like most of the time if I got enough space, I'm Gucci. Like if I got a wide open space, I'm good. You know, I might have to pull up once or twice or whatever. But for majority of the time I'm good if I got enough space. But if it get tight, man, man, I struggle. I struggle, man. And if anybody got any kind of tips or something <laughs> that, that'll help me with that, please put them in the comments, man. But, uh, yeah, man, bagging could be very frustrating, man. For if you coming, if you coming out here, you first getting out here and you get to some of these shippers and receivers, uh, some of them, man, they, uh, they kind of tight. They pretty tight. You know what I'm saying? And I done seen a couple of, uh, videos on some, on some places that's, real real tight and i was just thinking to myself if i get in that damn how the hell am i gonna bag in you know because my skills ain't really up to par but like i said it get frustrating man with the bagging but you know i mean i'm just gonna keep at it try to keep practicing as much as i can and that probably lack of repetition you know like i said like training i i bagged up a few times i ain't really just bag up a lot but you know i think over time i get it but uh yeah, uh, just uh, kind of take it slow when you come out here. Just take it slow and take your time. If you take your 30, it take your 30. But my question uh, to the bitch, man, is am I tripping on feeling like people are watching me when I bag up? You know what I'm saying? I kind of I kind of feel kind of antsy, like I want to rush because somebody might be getting mad, you know, it was a truck trying to come in, I don't know, the man was just like, man, get the fuck out the way, what the fuck are you doing, or, or whatever, whatnot, man, and I, and I had just stopped for a minute, and just let him come on by, you know, to get out of my way, so I wouldn't be holding him up, I know, I know everybody running on time, we all, we all got time frames out here, and we all trying, we all, all trying to uh, make value of our times, yeah, I got out and looked about 15 times, man, and you know, every time I every time I got out and looked, I looked and that curve was right there. I was just like, damn, this curve, man. That curve was really, really messing with my nerves, man. But uh, I eventually got it in there. I ain't give up on it. I, I got it in there, man. And I know it's probably somebody that might be watching this video and may be struggling with bagging, man. And I'm just going to tell you, man, just keep at it, man. If it take you 30 minutes, it take you 30 minutes. It took me 30 minutes. But uh, I just want to I just want to get all over the point of being embarrassed about it, man. Because I, I, I feel like it's kind of embarrassing, man, when you take that long to, to bag in. Especially in, like, spots that ain't, that ain't tight, tight. But they kind of tight. And you, you're trying to bag into the spot. And you, you're trying to trying to come on and get under your trailer and you can't you ain't got it seem like you ain't got enough room to get under your trailer you don't want to hit the person beside you like it's a lot of factors in bagging man it, it get it get really it get really aggravating at times but you know I, I i think i get over it i get over it once i once i get through this hump and get a little bit better at it you know what i'm saying i think i get over that embarrassment you know what i'm saying feeling 
that I have at times, but you know, uh, that's that basically all I wanted to cover today, man. And I, I just wanted to uh, kind of show the frustration side of, of, of backing because it can be very frustrating at time, man, especially for somebody new. So if you're coming out here, man, and and you think you're just going to bag up like you bagged up in school and some cone, man, it's a whole lot different out here, man. I mean, don't get me wrong, the bagging up into the cone gets you, get you right about how to swing your trailer into a, a certain spot, but man, it's very different out here, man. You got some shivers that ain't even got no lines. You, you ain't got no referee point to look. You just gonna have to guess, get in there. You got you got shivers that that this big that when you come in, when you coming in, as soon as you turn your your nose your dog gonna truck is right there at the curve. I mean, man, it's it's some crazy, it's some crazy thing. Truck stops too, man. You got truck stops this. It's tight. You got trucks on this side and trucks like this close together. And then you got to come up in here and bag a 53 foot, uh, 53 foot trailer into into a little a little tight spot, man. It, it get it get real real tough, man. But you know the key is, man, to just keep at it. So I'm gonna keep at it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I mean, if they laughing at me, they just gonna have to laugh at me. Hope don't nobody videotape me. If they do, they just videotape me. It's all good, man. I know they do crazy shit like that, man. Showing folks uh video videotaping and you know what I'm saying? Uh <laughs> people that, that struggle to back, but I mean I don't I don't wanna be one of them people, but if I am, I am. I guess I deserve it. It'll be, a, it'll be something that I can I can just learn from and say, damn, I'm on that videotape. Let me go ahead and get my skills up so I won't be on that videotape no more. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer, man. Uh, appreciate y'all. Y'all rocking with me. Appreciate the love and support. And uh, yeah, like I said, y'all got any tips for, for the rookie, man? Y'all hear me out, man. You know, y'all hear me out. I know, I know the number one key is practice. So I'm just gonna keep practicing, keep at it, man. And keep trying to knock it down. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Everybody, y'all stay safe. Drive safe. Everybody keep on trucking. It's your boy, Chris the Truck. I'm out. I'm just a ghetto child trying to make it. No, I'm a